Welcome to Jesus Manuel Menagarza Photography Video and Audio. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this edition, I'm going to be reviewing this uh, Mudix S2 video projector. It's a very nice uh, video projector. I just recently purchased it and I think it's uh, pretty good for the price point. It's essentially under 150 bucks and of course you can get it significantly for significantly less uh, during sales on Amazon and other vendors out there. I'll be leaving a link uh, below in the description uh, so you can buy one if you decide uh, after watching this video. You say, hey, I want one of those Mudix S2 video projectors. It's absolutely fabulous. In my uh, humble opinion, for the price point, I have no complaints. It's not going to compare to a 4K 70-inch uh, OLED TV, but it's pretty nice for the price point. Again, under $150. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them below. I would greatly appreciate it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you video samples, uh, streaming samples, and some of the menu system, and doing, of course, an unboxing, and give you some of the specifications. If you appreciate this video, again, give me a big, big, big thumbs up and leave a kind and friendly and professional comment below. And of course, subscribe. As I promised you, here are the specs for the Mudix. How do you say it? Mudix? Mudix S2. It has an LED light source, which should last quite a while. It has 5 watt speakers and its power consumption level is 65 watts, which is rather significant actually. And it has native HD resolution. Not, uh, you know, uh, lower quality. It actually has pretty decent quality, 1920 by 1080 p. I think that's one of its uh, biggest selling points. And its LCD display technology is about 4 inches. And that's, the light passes through this LCD display. And its uh, size is approximately 7 inches by about 4 inches. It weighs about two pounds and has a remote that requires two AAA batteries that you do not get. So you have to look around and grab uh, two AAA batteries to make your remote work. It includes an HDMI cable, a power adapter, a power cord, audiovisual cable, and a plastic, a rather modest plastic tripod stand. Let's start the uh, unboxing right now. First off, uh, the packaging was pretty nice and nothing was broken when I received it. Here's the manual, comes in a nice envelope. You have a basic introduction manual and then you have the more involved manual. It's pretty good instruction in uh, high quality English. So here's some of the accessories. Includes a remote, uh, a little baby tripod, an HDMI cable, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, your standard old school uh, audio-visual connections, and uh, the power plug which you connect to your receptacle. Of course, you need this little brick to make it all go. Took me a while to uh, get this uh, actual unit out of the box. I had to struggle for a bit. It was in there pretty tight. Uh, it came out of the box without any issues. Again, it was uh, safely transported to my house via Amazon. So here's the unit. Here's a front view with the uh, frosted uh, lens cap. You'll never make the mistake of uh, projecting with that lens cap on because everything goes, looks pretty fuzzy with that lens cap on. Here's the uh, side speakers. It has speakers on the side and in the back is where the heat comes out and it has all these very nice uh, receptacles. And that's where you can connect either that tripod, that baby tripod, a larger tripod, or a light stand or some kind of stand. It does not have any sort of tilting uh, mechanism. That's the tripod. So it's good that you got that as part of the deal. What do you think? There's the uh, quarter 20 connection. On the top is the focus wheel. Uh, I estimate about six feet is the minimal focusing distance. Here's a front shot. Hope you appreciate these uh, videos. And there's the back with all the different connections. To the left is the uh, connection for the power. You have two USBs and of course an HDMI connection. And immediately to the right is a headphone jack and there's the IR receptor. You have one in the front and one in the back for the remote control. Here's the uh, basic screen and you can scroll up uh, and down for the sources also. I picked uh, HD. You can do screen monitoring, whatever you have set up. And here's some video that I shot while in Mexico. Are... 
So nice. And even downtown by the uh, Zocalo, by the uh, cathedral, and by the major museums down there, you can just go a few blocks across the highway and it, it, <laughs> it drops down in socioeconomic class. So a lot of poor people, like I saw a lot of poor folks in that side of town. Just a, again, just about a half a mile from the center of town. So I had a good time taking these photographs. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Again, the temperatures while I was down in Mexico were rather cool. Let me share with you also my Chromecast uh, screensavers. Again, what do you think of the colors, the vibrancy, the quality? Of course, uh, you have to understand it's a $150 or less and if on sale, significantly less Moodix S2 video projector. Again, what are your opinions? I would like to hear them. Thank you very much. Please head on my way and leave your kind and friendly comments below. Abajo. Thanks for checking out my video on the uh, Moodix S2, a very nice uh, budget option in the video projector category. Of course, you can always spend five. $10,000 on a very nice uh, video projector. There's some very nice ones out there. And uh, I have seen them and they're pretty good, but they're still not as good as a big screen TV with all those LEDs, uh, backlit LEDs. Very nice, especially HDR TVs and the newer TVs that are coming out, OLED, etc., etc. So if you have any kind and friendly comments, please leave them below. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll read them. And uh, of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let me give you about a 30 second blurb on my background of what uh, makes me a little bit of a modest expert on in this field. Uh, back in the 60s, I used to push around the little cart in the junior high school. That was the audiovisual dude, <laughs> that little nerdy dude that uh, brought the uh, projector slide projector, film projector, overhead projector, and even film strip projector back in the day. And of course, uh, one of my jobs that I had, I was at the University of Texas in the nursing department. I headed their audiovisual department, all their projectors, all their equipment, designing their website, etc., etc. And of course, I had a small business in Silicon Valley for many, many years, over, for almost two decades, in which I sold uh, equipment, photography equipment, and also audio visual equipment. I had a chance to tour some of these fabulous, fabulous uh, installations at military bases, at corporations, and at uh, some uh, very high-end homes in Silicon Valley. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And don't forget to leave your kind and super friendly and super professional comments below. Alaho. Muchos, muchos, muchos gracias. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.